what if our nuclear plant fails? I just see that it will do more damage to keep going. I want to have children and I want my children to see the world that I saw. What's like, what's the vision? Best possible outcome would be them preparing by investing into solar and renewables. We only have 30 more years of, of coal. This experience, even though we're currently in Kauai, Hawaii, this experience really began over two years ago. And we studied issues of energy as well as issues of sea level rise. And that experience about two years ago exposed myself and the students that were in that class to the myriad of issues that have both local and global impact on sustainability and environmental policy and ecology. So some of the people who got involved in with that experience, we were fortunate enough last year to win an Athenaeum Press Grant through the Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts. And with that press grant, we produced something called Powering a New South. From that study, what we recognized was solar energy was something that was a tantalizing subject to us that we wanted to look further into. see her hands in prayer. With the Solar Ambassador team, um, Dr. Pamela Martin has taken our team of uh, approximately 10 students here to Kauai, Hawaii, and we are checking out their solar energy policy and how all of their renewable efforts are working here in Kauai and how we can implement those in South Carolina as well. The Revolve Solar Ambassador Grant is a grant through this nonprofit called Revolve in San Francisco. They chose seven universities from all over the United States. We were the only one from the South and we are the only one that is um, maybe a regional public comprehensive university. The class on sustainability is focused specifically on solar with our goal of engaging our community in education about solar energy and solar energy policy, as well as, and very most importantly, establishing a plan to place uh, solar panels on a family homeless shelter in Myrtle Beach. And so looking forward, we'll be looking to get more interaction with our community and build an educational base. And so in order to build that education base within our communities, first we had to educate ourselves. We've learned a lot about the Hawaiian community through the mayor, the Kauai Utility Cooperative. We've learned just how important it is to incorporate the cultural heritage of the area within the means of sustainability. The natives of Hawaii, they love the land. Um, a lot of South Carolinians love the land. Um, it was a very agricultural, rural area. It's in the best interest of all people to really bring renewable energy, especially solar energy, to our sunny shores of Myrtle Beach. I personally am born and raised in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, so this was an incredible experience that I probably would have never been able to have. Uh, prior to being a part of this team. And so being here and being able to immerse myself in the Hawaiian culture as well as experiencing this with my class and learning here instead of in the classroom and outside of campus I think was a really great opportunity not only for myself but for our team and something that we can bring back to Coastal with us to share with our peers as well. Hele Kaliki Maka, by the way, is Merry Christmas, okay? Hele <laughs> Kaliki Maka is a thing to say.